And have I got a winner for you this week. For the last month, have I told you for the last month, yes. okay, <laughs> you've entertained me on Facebook with a wonderful project you've done. Mm -hmm. So how about introduce yourself and I said, tell everybody who you are, when you went to school, and then okay. uh, we'll get to one of these wonderful teachers you've been talking okay. about. All right, all right, Mr. Fred, I'm from Pawntown, Maryland. Right. And I'm a proud mom of two queens and two kings. Okay. Takia and Tania Dozier and Jordan and Javante Dozier. Right. I have one granddaughter, Malia. Well, congratulations, one, Grandma. One grandson, right. Bryce and Gray. Good. Um, they make me so happy and proud. I really. bet they did. But I, I'm a... Uh, mm. Go ahead. Keep going. Don't worry. We all stumble. You should see me I walking in here every day. It looks like I I'm doing I graduated in 1986, class okay. of 86. I love you guys. There you go. And I was also inducted into the Athletic Hall of Fame October the 3rd, 2015. And like you told me, you were a volleyball player I in the volleyball, fall. Volleyball, track and basketball. field. Basketball. And basketball was my sport, my favorite sport of what, choice. What did you do? Let me go back. What did you do with track? Coach Nesbitt was your coach? Yes. Mrs. Uh, I did the 50 and 100 yard You were a sprinter? Yes. Okay. What yes, position in then. basketball? I was a power forward. Power forward? Uh, power oh, you forward. just knocking people I down was, and hurting I would them. get them rebounds. They would tell me, get thirsty for that ball, Vanessa, and I would get it. <laughs> how, were the, how were the teams with Mrs. Pinkett in those days? Oh, it was good. I mean, you had one guy Pinkett, playing for the guys that goes to the Ms. NBA. Pinkett. Come on. Miss <laughs> Pinkett, she was a, she was a, a poised uh, professional. I mean, she was like, Doja, get that ball and use it. You got to be finesse. Use finesse with it, Vanessa. You know, so she was, was a great coach. She was. She really was. And we, we talked off the air. Uh, the nicest thing about Mrs. Pinkett, I did. I was a cross country coach. Uh, Mrs. Nesbitt, uh, Mr. Nesbitt, mm -hmm. and Mrs. Pinkett did the indoor and outdoor track program. Right. I believe you correct me. I used to go to clinics every year mm -hmm. with Mrs. Pinkett. Mrs. Pinkett was the kindest person. We would go to the, the clinic. Mm -hmm. And she would go, the, the events were usually in Atlantic City. Okay. She used to play the nickel slot machines. <laughs> now, this woman not only was a great coach, <laughs> she was a great legal gambler. Right. <laughs> she would put the nickels in. We wouldn't see her for three days. On right. the way home, she said, hey, guys. And it was three guys. I'm going to take you out to dinner. We're expecting Mickey D's mm -hmm. or Hardee's. No, no. She says, what's the nicest restaurant between Atlantic City and Centerville? Mm -hmm. We'd get uh, shrimp cocktail. Oh. Philly mignon. The best Baked Alaska, the, the best. And Pink would just be sitting back. I told you all. I told you. One year she did so well, she bought us all Christmas presents. Anyway, let me let me go. Let me ask you this. Vanessa, you've, uh, the last month, you've entertained me mm -hmm. with some of the best thing I've seen in Facebook in a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, tell everybody about this wonderful project you undertook, and some of the people I was fortunate enough to work with. Right. People you had as teachers, please. Well, I started. I thought about this the end of. January. Okay. My aunt passed, mm -hmm. and we were cleaning out her belongings, going through her totes and stuff, and I found a lot of authentic, original Sellersville Elementary okay. things. I mean, this here is old school. That's and an it, old school stuff. And this here was her, I think, her mug when she retired. Okay. I mean, it was just authentic oh, things. Oh, real stuff. She had a lot of papers written up on the black teachers okay. and, the, I guess, with the Kennard alumni and mm -hmm. things like that, mm -hmm. the NAACP. And I was just like, you know, I'm going to do something in honor of Ann Viv for Black History Month. You know, this and you did. This, this tell lady me, right tell here, me what you've been doing. I spoke on her. I spoke on I, So I wrote down all of the black teachers that I had from elementary school oh, wow. on up. And I only, I only did, I only had 23. Okay. You know, and so, I mean, that's what inspired me to do. I thought about Miss Nancy Scott, you know, Miss Miss Brown. You did. And the I teachers want, that I had. Let you me mean, brag on you a little bit. Um, I didn't see you. After, I, I, I don't remember. I'm sure I saw you play basketball. I right. don't remember. But what you did on Facebook, not only were there great pictures, it usually mm -hmm. is three to five pictures or whatever. Right. But you also put a little historical yes, background. Yes, from what they Made meant, what they did, what they yeah. meant to me in my life. Because yeah. each and every one of them they did, they impacted it in a in a different way. Okay. You know, teaching the things that they oh, did. Oh, great! It was and, a, and for Black History Month, what was a perfect project. Mr. Peters, I played the clarinet in the middle now, school. I, Okay, you know, tell Mr. me about Mr. Peters. Peters. Oh my God, he was a that raspy voice. <laughs> I mean, you wanted to go, you wanted to pay attention, you wanted to, right. and he could play any instrument in that band room, any instrument. Seriously, put the reed on, on the thing. I would crack my reeds all the time. <laughs> but he would, he was just a, a good hearted, so, soul hearted man. You I know, had, I had the pleasure of teaching with Mr. Peters when he was down at Stevensville Middle mm -hmm. School. I didn't know that he taught in all of yes, the. He, I didn't know that he was the band teacher for the whole. He was county. the band, and the kids Did would come out of there saying. I hate him, but he's made me a better well, yes. musician. Oh, yes. And they didn't hate him. It just He was straight. Oh, yeah, he and was. he wanted you to perform. And there was a lot of them that were like that. You know, okay. and it's just like it, there were more 
personable, I guess you could yeah, say. Yeah. They you know? They were like, yeah, exactly. Good, good, good. You, you had exactly. uh, William Walter Pauls. Yes, I had Mr. Pauls. I, I didn't have Mrs. Pauls, but I know her. Okay, okay. You know, okay. I do. I know her personally. And Did you have Walter? Warner, oh, him? yes, I did. Okay. I dissected a frog in his class. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Walter. Couldn't wait. Couldn't wait to dissect that frog in Mr. Walls. Walter, <laughs> Mr. you know, Walls they live out here in White Marsh Road. I know, I know. Walter, active in the community. I see him at the church. You're very right active in the church. Mm -hmm. And his uh, fraternity, I'm not sure what it is. He's, is it the fraternity of the Masons the or whatever yes, it is? Yes. He's very mm -hmm. big. Because I love it when he wears that special hat. hat. Yes, yes. And Walter has very not... Very honorable. You know, I've known Walter for 45 years. Mm -hmm. Vanessa, he hasn't changed. I know. He's getting younger. <laughs> I'm getting older. This is not fair. And Willie, uh, Mrs. Paul's... They look... Uh, they look oh, they wonderful. Look, they do. They and do. I taught next to Willie... Uh, oh many years, mm -hmm. and when I was a rookie teacher in the late 70s, she ba and I told you this off here, she basically said, Fred, don't say anything. I'm going to get you through the first five oh. years. And she did. <laughs> she was true. And then you, I believe you had the Wilders on. Yes, Spencer yes, and yes. Mrs. They're from my hometown. They live oh, right from? down the street from me. Okay. Yes, Mr. and Ms. Spencer Wilder. Now, is Spencer still teaching at Chesapeake? He was doing math. No, he's, no. He's, he uh, stopped. Uh, so yes. he's full-time retired. Yes, yep. I mean, I knew these people when they're in their twenties. Mm -hmm. Some of the pictures you put on, these are still had. Spencer had an all white beard, right? He uh, did. He, he a, did. They, you know, this comes comes with age. It comes with the territory. No, it does. But it still, does. ain't nothing wrong with that up no, there. No, no, no. Still, still has his wit. Still just as personable and professional as as he was back then. Now let's go back to your elementary days because we've skipped that. Give okay, me some of your right. elementary teachers. My fault. I had Miss Miss Brown, Miss T. Brown. My mother passed when okay. I was uh, six years old. All right. You know, so when I went to kindergarten, it was like when I was in the elementary school, the, the teachers knew that. Yes. You know, but that you know because they you know how y'all talk. Yes, yes. But um, and it was like they nurtured me. You know, what I mean, they mm -hmm. they they were like mother became substitute figures mom. to me. Yeah, for real, Perfect. for Perfect. real. I mean, it was and Miss T. I remember she would always be dressed up. And if she had on like a pea green outfit, she had on pea green earrings Everything with, matched. A, with a pea Everything green matched. and smelt nice, all the hair done, all the time. And she was a good I, role model, I remember right? that. I mean, yes. she was. She she really was. Okay. But nobody dresses better than Walter Paul. Have you ever seen the way Mr. <laughs> Paul's? Mr. Ms. Paul's, oh my. They made me look bad. And Ms. Paul's too. <laughs> Mrs. Paul's was saying to me, Fred, would you stand up when we take a picture? She said, Fred, would you slide over the picture? <laughs> so give me some more elementary. See, I, put on, I put on her purse. Oh. I put that on. Um, she had three closets, two for her clothes and one for her shoes, Miss Paul. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Still dresses well. Yes. But just, I think she's always embarrassed because, you know, I'd be dressing like 60s. Uh -huh. Wow, man, what's going on? <laughs> and Willie was like, get out of it. Get out, get out of it. <laughs> Give me some more elementary. Going back to elementary, it was okay. I had Miss, um, second grade was Miss Brown. Third grade, I had Aunt Viv. Okay, Aunt Viv. I, I had Viv, Viv and Garnett. And she's your biological aunt. Yes, okay. my, my mom's okay. sister. Yes, my mother's okay. sister. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, um, after that, there was there was no more. The fourth grade, and then fifth grade, I went to what Center, yeah, Centerville what Middle. Oh, you went uh, with this Sutlersville Middle. I'm oh, sorry, Sutlersville, Sutlersville, Sutlersville okay. Middle, and that was when Mr. Jackson became. He was the first black principal. Yes, Burton Jackson at Sutlersville. And Sutler, I keep saying Sutlersville. At Sutlersville Middle School. Right. Middle school. He went down eventually to Ken mm -hmm. Island Elementary at some point. Yes, 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 he did. Yeah, I went and saw him about two weeks ago. What did what did Mr. Jackson teach, him. or was he a principal? He was principal. He was principal. Oh, I'm mm -hmm. sorry, I didn't listen. He in was Sons principal. Yes, he was a principal. At Sons nice Sons. gentleman. He is. Now, am I correct? He's a singer also, or am yes, I wrong? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. I, I have. I've never heard him, but he did have uh, some guitars in his in his living room and things like that. I have to tell you, Vanessa, <laughs> 45 years ago. Mm -hmm. Walter Paul's and uh, his church has a choir. Okay. Christmas time, they would go house to house that people who okay. couldn't get out. Right. Very often seniors and sing Christmas carols. Mm -hmm. uh, one year, Walter said, Fred, why don't you come with us? Mm. Well, this little <laughs> white guy with these marvelous singers, <laughs> I'd go in there, I'd walk into the house, and these 89-year-old, beautiful African-American women would look at him, what did you drag, what the cat drag in? <laughs> and what was even great, you tell me there was a tradition when you finished, mm. John Andrews was one of the persons where they'd sing a song and mm. you, they gave you a glass of wine. Uh -huh. And, uh, well, imagine me after seven houses <laughs> with a glass of wine. <laughs> See, that what, they, what Walt and them do, they throw the wine over the uh -huh. shoulder. Fred, <laughs> dumb, I'm guzzling. I'm going to tell you what. At the end of about six or seven houses, you're looking at Michael Jackson McNeil. <laughs> but the point being, people like John Andrews, mm -hmm. Walter Paul, oh, yes. and others wanted you to feel as part of the community. They didn't kill a color skin. Oh, no, what right. your religion is. Back These are good we, people. Did, we didn't see color. No. We didn't. We, we did not. Me and my no. classmates, we did not. We, we played together and never skipped. We, we would be blood sisters. Remember, we used yes. to cut and... Yes, that was a all fad. that stuff back in the yes. day. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so who besides Burton Jackson at middle school? 
Any other names? I, miss, I had um, Miss Newton. Miss Newton was my gym teacher. Mr. Mr. Newton. Miss Newton. Oh, Mrs. Newton. Miss, I, Miss Newton. Brenda. Yes, I Brenda taught, Newton. Again, you, go ahead. She was my gym teacher. Oh, she would push us. She, would push she was us tough. Girls. She Mrs. Was. Newton was tough. She, <laughs> I followed her in Graysonville Elementary School. Okay. She, she moved years on. Years later, right, she did. Yes, and I'd be teaching my style, and I met the principal coming on. Who taught you to teach? Because <laughs> she was strict, am I not right? <laughs> she was. She, was, she was. She didn't bend the fold. No. She did not. No. She was, you, if you came in on Monday, you better have your uniform yes, clean, your sneakers clean. Yes. Don't come in there with nothing dirty. Because okay. you're going to sit down and write, I will bring a clean uniform. You'll write it 50 times while everybody else is attending class. And a special nice note, her husband, Robert Newton, oh, yes. who's a principal. Mm -hmm. Brenda's had some bad health, mm -hmm. and thanks to Robert, he's really going at it. Oh, and he's yeah. a wonderful husband. I told him last week when I went out there to see him, okay. I said, if you need anything, I'll come by and see with her for an hour or so, if you need. And Good I, for And you. I would. Okay. I really now, who, would. Else in, who else in middle school? Mr. Newton, Mr. Jackson, who are any other stars? Miss, Miss Moody, Miss Barcliff. See, I didn't Ms. know. Miss Barcliff Moody. Oh, Miss Moody, yes. Yes. She, when she was in Centerville for a while? Yeah, no. No, maybe I'm wrong. I know the name. Ms. I know Moody. she was. Yeah, Miss Moody. She was. She, I think she went to Chesterfield. Okay. I don't, it was in my bio. It I don't have it all in there. No worries. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> but um, she was a. She was like a mom. She was like a second mom to me. And these are people who affected was, you your her whole and life. Miss Gabriel. Yes. I mean, and I'm, I'm just paying it back forward. You know, yeah. because if if I didn't tell the story, you wouldn't know. I mean, and there was nothing. No one would know. I mean, no that's one a tragedy would know. Exactly. Of us, even a community this small. Like, exactly. I went to a, a meeting, Vanessa, uh, two weeks ago, and, and I don't know whether you were there or not. 400 mm. brave young men from Queen Anne's County mm. during the Civil War, okay. these were African American gentlemen, got on a ship in Queenstown, mm. sailed off, and fought for the Union side. Mm. Nobody knows about that. Uh, 400. Wow. And well, how did you find out about that? They had a special meeting. There's a gentleman who goes oh, around talking okay, about this, okay. and the uh, local Episcopal church has done a mm -hmm. great job. Now, how about this jump to high school? Besides marvelous Merv <laughs> Dory, who were your, who, and Mrs. Pinkett, who did a great oh, job. Oh, my who God. Who were some of your stars Ms. in high school? Miss Tolson. Joanne Tolson. Miss Adams. Okay. Is that yeah. Janet Adams? What Adams was that? Miss Joanna Tolson okay. and Ernestine Adams. Ernestine Adams. Right. Oh, my God. I love them ladies. Okay. Miss McElroy. Lucy McElroy. All of them, yes. Yeah. Mm -mm. <laughs> and you had a picture of Mr. Corsi, I believe. Yes, Mr. Corsi. He was my basketball coach. Oh, he, uh, oh, he coached yeah. basketball? Yes, okay. he did. Yes, he did. He would run up and down that court. Well, he, would, he was old Oh, then. he's always in good he shape. He seemed like he was, old, he was older, <laughs> you know, but yeah. he was running up and down that court with us. He'd be... He was, he was oh, definitely a good African-American role model here. Now, let me ask you, uh, how's the response been from these? I mean, oh. when I repost what you put me, all of a sudden I have 30 it's or 40 a lot of people. I mean, a lot of people are loving it, and thank you, everybody, for supporting it. And, Great. And I, I, I guess I went to the Centerville Library. Okay. And I wanted to look up to see if they had any information, and they had nothing okay. on none of the black educators here. You know, I went to Sellersville Library. Nothing. nothing. So when I get this done, when this is over, I'm going to make it a book. And I want every right. library oh, in Queen definitely. Anne's County, definitely. every school Give the Board Queen of Ed a copy. Give the Board, the board of, of Ed a bunch and of copies. I want to get, I want to get more information. So if anybody can help me out with the teachers from Centerville and Stevensville. Okay. If I could get some more information some kind of how way. How would they, well, how would you like them to contact you? Oh, I guess... My cell phone. Well, let's not give out your cell phone. How about we do this? My if anybody's email. watching this show now, right, and they say, you know, Vanessa, this sounds like a fantastic mm -hmm. idea. I happen to have a yearbook of information. Okay. Why don't you contact me, okay, QAC TV seven. Okay. I'll pass it on to you. That there way, we, we don't go. give out any phone go. numbers. Okay. There we right, go. Okay. I won't have, yeah. Okay. And which will be good. Okay. That'll work. Now, let me. Who of the pictures you posted, those that are live. You mentioned you just saw Madeline Hollis. Yes. Who I think taught here when in 1847. She's the don't. oldest living African American female teacher. Teacher. Who's the oldest male? The Mr. Nesbitt or who? Oh, you know. Yes, it has to be. Charlie Nesbitt. And they live within two it blocks has, of each other. It time. has to be, yes. Okay. Yeah, now you think about it. And yep. he helps her out, she helps him. You know, they they yes. fuss like a married yeah. couple. <laughs> Mr. Nesbitt, you better I, get down here and help I, me out. I told her, I said, you did. She didn't teach me, but I told her, I said, yes. By her being the oldest, yes. I thought I'm going to save the best for last. There you go. You know, okay, she's like the will, matriarch. <laughs> well, that will be good. Yeah, please, you do that in a book, and that will be fantastic. Yes, I am. Now, I your am. daughter, tell me what your daughter, she's putting the pictures to some musical accompaniment, yes. which we'll have in this show. Yes. But how's, what's she doing with that now? She's putting it together just to... Pictures to, and music. Pictures and music, yes. To honor them. Yes. Okay. That's yeah. fantastic. Yes, I mean, that's she good. Is. 
And the other place, of course, I hope you will put the book is the Kennard, Kennard, as I was corrected the other day, okay. Cultural Center. Oh, okay, yes. Wouldn't it be great to have a couple copies? I'd of like to put something up in honor of her, like this. Oh, if of I course. can use that and this and any of this, I mean, that, this can be there for, oh, of course. for mem in her memory forever. Well, you, you, know, know? you, you sit down with Coach Nesbitt. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Coach Nesbitt is another person who mentored when I first came. He showed me how to cut down a Christmas tree, he told oh. me how to trim my trees, <laughs> told me how to keep my mouth shut. And, <laughs> and he was a Hall, he's a Hall of Fame coach, as yes, you know. Yes, yes. Uh, but you sit down with Mr. Nesbitt, and he tells me when he was the head basketball coach at Canard, mm -hmm. that the kids at the end, end of the game, and you know how basketball games end at 10 or 11, right. Right? by the time you, you know, yes. you're ready to go, he would drive them home in his own car. Nah, I believe it. And he would take them from one end I of the county as far down Route 8 as you can mention to Pond Town, Southern I believe it. I believe it. And that's a history we're losing. I believe it. You're right. And we You're need to so know. You're so right. Okay. <laughs> well, look, I don't want to take a lot more of your time, but first of all, to be fair, put up your Hall of Fame picture again. I want to show that off. There it right. And congratulations. Thank that's an honor. You. That thank your you. Your children, thank your grandchildren. I am also product. a part of black American history. <laughs> yes, you are. You know, here in Queen Anne's County. Yes, you are. And you should be very proud of that. Uh -huh. I mean, you was Kennard Winchester your class? No, he was two years older than me, but he's okay. from Pawn Town. Remind you know, everybody. See, most of the people was a watching lot, this show. A lot of talent came from Pawn Town. He made a the lot, NBA. Uh, yes, he did. He made the NBA. Come on. <laughs> and besides, we got Jody Schultz who made the NFL. Mm -hmm. We've got a gentleman who played for Marvelous Merv. Merv yeah. And they had great teams, <laughs> yes. right? And he made, he gave it, the whole basketball team when I was assistant coach tickets. Mm -hmm. We saw, I think he's played for the Houston Rockets. Mm -hmm. We saw them play wherever they were called, the Bullets at that point. Right, right. And that was just a generous act by a graduate mm -hmm. who took care of us, mm -hmm. okay? That's right. Well, look, first of all, I want to thank you. I, Facebook, you've just livened it up. And mm -hmm. I'm just amazed, because immediately, as soon as I see your post, I, I, I repost. Right. A lot like, of people look forward to it every day. Well, 50 to 100 <laughs> people, I'm going, what are you doing? You know, I put pictures, hey, here's Fred. They go, <laughs> okay, all right. And, if, and again, like we said earlier, Vanessa is looking for more information. If anybody has at home mm -hmm. on African-American teachers uh, taught in Queen Anne's County, right. uh, get it to me. You can just put Fred McNeil, QAC, TV7, mm -hmm. Centerville, Maryland. I'll pass it on to you, okay? okay Which I appreciate will be good. that. I appreciate and it. And when you get the book done, we're going to have you back. Okay. We'll go page by page. All right, that'll All right, work. We'll go every single page. That will work. <laughs> well, as a member of the community, as a retired teacher, I want to thank you because what you've done is fantastic. Oh, thank you. And I, I thank don't you. do enough as a community for Black History Month. We're going to get better. Right. With people like you. Thank you. Okay. Yes. And the wonderful people in the county who, and government who are insisting that more things be done. Done. Okay? Right. Right. Exactly. All right. Thank you. Well, look. At, thanks again. Good luck. And by the way, we didn't ask you. What are you? What are you doing now? I work. I work from home. Okay, I work from home. I'm a data entry administrative specialist. Okay. And I work from home, just key away. Is this for the government, U.S. No, government? I work for ABC Burglar Alarm Company. Okay, okay. So you need some monitoring or burglar alarm system, okay. call me. <laughs> and, you, and the good news is you get to work from home. Yes. Oh, yes, I like I it. it. All right. I love it. Vanessa, love it. again, thank you. What I, I really think what you're doing is great. Can I wish right? my girlfriend a happy birthday? Yes, you may. Tina Wheeler. My classmate, I love you, girl. Happy 54th birthday. <laughs> oh, she's young. 54. <laughs> And thanks again, okay? Thank you, Mr. McNeil. I'm Fred McNeil. Thank you for watching QAC TV 7. My time's up. Thank you for your time, and we're going to see you next time. <laughs>